Well, hello, friends. So glad you could join us. We're starting something brand new called Ask Pastor Tim. And I am Pastor Tim Moulter uh, at Calvary Chapel in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. I the privilege and the honor to be the senior pastor uh, here at Calvary Chapel in uh, Fergus Falls, Minnesota. And uh, to start things off, I've got Otto the Otter behind me, one of our mascots in our community, uh, to help us get things started. So first question we have received via email is, why do we say the word amen at the end of our prayers? It's a great question, one I hope that we've all contemplated before. And uh, we actually see the word amen used in the Old Testament as well in the New Testament. And the word simply means uh, to be uh, an agreement. It says, verily, truly, uh, so be it, or amen. And so uh, we use the word in our prayers uh, to be in alignment with God's will. And in fact, we, uh, we also see that uh, Jesus is our amen. He's our yes and amen, and uh, he's our faithful and true uh, witness and our creator. And so um, you can use the word amen at the beginning of a prayer, in the middle of a prayer, and at the end of a prayer. Um, and you don't have to use the word amen at all in your prayer. Uh, some people uh, believe that you have to say amen, otherwise it doesn't count. Um, but amen simply means so be it. Uh, it's praying in, the, in accordance with God's will, uh, that God, you hear our prayers. It's also very helpful if you are praying in a setting with other people. So we know uh, when you're concluding your prayer and someone else can begin their prayer. Uh, it's uh, something that has carried on actually, uh, this word amen, uh, from the early uh, Jewish synagogues where people would gather together to say the prayers to the Lord. And uh, the uh, Jewish uh, uh, converts uh, to the faith uh, who believe Jesus is the Messiah became Messianic Jews, and uh, they would use this prayer uh, continually as they would meet together and learn more about Jesus, uh, their Messiah. And the Gentile, the non-Jewish believers, uh, carried this tradition along with them. So something that we continue to this day to say amen. So hopefully that helps address the question, and hopefully you feel more comfortable using the word amen in your prayers. And uh, and. Uh, if you have a question, we'd love to address it. You can email me at pastortim at ccfergusfalls.com and we'll do your, uh, our very best to address your question uh, next week uh, on the next episode of Ask Pastor Tim. So till then, uh, God bless you and know that God loves you very much.